Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. This is Ashram David and in today's video, we are going to talk about how you can swap two variables without using a third variable. But in this video, we are going to focus on how you can do it with the help of a pointer. So basically, here on this topic, I have already created one video before, but in that video, I was not using pointers. So if you haven't watched that video first, I'll give the link in the description below as well as in the i button so that you can go ahead and watch that video as well. So, but in this video, we are going to use pointers in order to solve the same problem. So now, before I start with this video, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. Without any further ado, let's get right into the topic. So, we will start by writing our first thing first, hash include io string. And here I'm going to say using the namespace std. And after that, I'm going to create my main function. So in main here, and inside this in main return zero has to be there, and it is there. So now let us create two variables int a equals to let's say 10, and we will say b equals to 20. Now here we will use two pointers. And one pointer will be storing the address of, say pointer one will be storing the address of the A. And the second pointer will be the star B2, which will be holding the address of another variable B in this case. Now, once we created two variables and the two pointers, which holds the address of both the variables in this case, let us print out, see out before swap. I'm going to say here, a equals to, and I'm going to print A in this case. So A equals to A, and then I'm going to say here, comma, B equals to, I'm going to say B, and then end L. So now the same thing we will be doing here with the help of the same thing, but in this case, after swap. Now here in between, we will write the logic for swapping. Now, if you remember from our previous video, we were using the arithmetic operators in order to solve this problem. And in this case also, we will be using arithmetic operators. But in this case, rather than using the arithmetic operators on the variables a and b, this time I will use them normally as how you will use uh, on the pointers. Like basically, I'm going to use the same way that I have used in order to swap these two numbers with the help of an arithmetic operator, I'm going to use the same thing on these operators. It's like a normal arithmetic operation. So you see we st how we started. We started from first number, right? So that is pointer one equals two. I'm going to use pointer arithmetics. And to do this, I'm just going to simply add two pointers. That is P1 and P2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, P2 equals star P1 minus Start P2. And then after that, at last, I'm going to say P1 again, you become a star P1 again minus star P2, basically. So you see what happens here is this is using the simple arithmetic operation, and this is your arithmetic uh, pointer arithmetic. Using the pointer arithmetic, we are able to swap the two numbers without using the third variable. So right now you see that the first one is 10. So we said a, this is this pointer is representing a and I'm saying that 10 you get added with 20. So 30 is stored into this pointer one. And then once we do that, we say uh, pointer two, which stores 20. I said that from 30 subtract 20 and then 10 gets stored here. So basically B becomes 10 and then at last, P1, which was 30, now it will subtract 30 minus this 10. And in this case, what happens is that this will become back to 10. So, so B will become 10 and A will become 20 in this case. So here, uh, this is how you will be able to swap the two numbers without using a third variable in C++ using pointers, right? So now if I run this code, you see that it will give you the output like this. And you can see that after swap and before swap. And this is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I, if you have any doubts in the video, tell us in the comment section below and I'll help you with that as soon as possible. 
and then again don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates well this is for this is that for it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one